Hey, Ben Baxter here with Anglers All. Just going to whip up a peanut envy for you today. The uh, idea behind this pattern was coming off of Russ Madden's Circus Peanut, uh, where Kelly got most of the idea for this pattern, changed a few materials, added some ice dub and a cone head instead of lead eyes. Uh, pretty pretty slim profile on this fly today. Uh, going to start with a B10S stinger hook. Ben Baxter here with Anglers All, gonna tie up a peanut envy for you today. Uh, tying on this real nice tie craft desk. It's a great piece of art, along with plenty of flies that we tie on this desk. It's a pretty nice compliment to our tying studio. Uh, tying with a B10S stinger hook. I'm starting with a size four, I'm gonna have a six behind that. Tying a little bit smaller version of the, the regular Peanut Envy, more of a mini Peanut Envy. Starting with some Strung Marabou for the tail. Uh, my thread today is a Vivas 100 Denier GSP. I like this thread just because it's thin. It's thinner than 140 and it's a whole lot stronger you can really crank down on materials if you need to. It's just a, a great thread to use and not super, super thick. Starting with this piece of strung marabou, I'm pulling back a lot of the other tips. I probably could use this whole piece for the tail, um, but just trying to keep it instead of a big clump of marabou, trying to keep it super thin off of the tail. Again, this is meant to be a, a really slim, sleek pattern. Get a couple good bites in on that. Get the tail in. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this at an angle here. Doesn't have to be perfect there because it is going to get covered up. All right, next material is some flash. I'm really only taking about three pieces. I'm actually using a micro flashaboo here. So super small amount of flash that we're putting into this particular pattern. So on one side, Tie those in, and I'm really just getting them on, on the shank. I can trim them to whatever size I like once they're on there. Make sure I've got all those fibers, and I'm going to just trim those right about the same length as the, the marabou tail here. Again, this pattern is just a real sparse pattern. Really like fishing this as a little bait fish pattern on the Colorado. It works really well, even in smaller sizes, even on places like Bear Creek or Clear Creek as a, a little minnow bait fish pattern. Great pattern overall. Next, I'm gonna tie in my wire. Just some brassy silver wire that I'm using here. Get that on the shank. 
next material is going to be my ice dub. I'm going to dub the body here. Don't need a whole lot. You do kind of want to build up a little bit of a body, but don't need a ton here. Just trying to cover this shank. Doesn't have to be pretty because we are going to be counter wrapping over this and wrapping a rooster saddle feather over the top of this as well. Let's finish this up here. Don't want to crowd that head too, too much because I'm still going to be tying in some materials right there. Next, I'm going to tie in a rooster feather here. Strong rooster saddle. Get that really tied in. Clip that quill out. Next couple things I'm going to do here are with the rotary function. So I'm going to go ahead and do a half hitch on that. My screen thread just broke. Can you cut that out? Uh, go back and un un undo that. Uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. Things annoying, squeaking. Come on, man. Next thing we've got our rooster saddle feather here in the front. I'm going to wrap that back using my rotary function here. Just really want to get that on a good plane and let it wrap back. Watch your hook point there. Got that. Now I'm going to use my wire to bite down on that tail or that feather. I've got the feather tip right here. Now I'm just using that rotary function to get that wire counter wrapped back to the front of the hook here. Get the wire popped off here. Trim the feather tip out. Try not to trim too much else there. Pretty sleek little bugger looking back half to this fly. Essentially that's what it is. We're gonna add some rubber legs to it and the front of the fly will almost be done after a little tuft of marabou. Just using a couple silicone rubber legs here. Just going to trim off two of each. Just 
grabbing these. Going to tie these right in at the front of the hook here. a little figure eight to get those on the hook shank. Sitting there just nicely. Next thing is another little tiny tuft of marabou. Doesn't have to be much at all. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. Again, we're trying to stay super sleek with this particular pattern, so we don't need a whole lot of marabou. I'm even going to trim that down a little bit, or pull some back, I should say. I'm just going to do a little, little tiny tuft about that big, just like that. Not a whole lot. Trim our feathers. And just do a little whip finish here. I'm going to double up on that. And there's the essentially the back half of your fly. You can trim the legs a bit if you need to. Pull those back. I'm going to trim them about the same length as the tail made, a little shorter, so they're not going to be fouling on us. There is the front half of, sorry, the back half of the Peanut Envy. Throwing in another B10S up front. This is a size four with a cone head on it. Again, this is a smaller style than the original Peanut Envy. Just like it in a little bit smaller profile like the mini Peanut Envy. Get my thread started here. Gonna use a little bit of trailer hook wire. The cone heads are these guys right here. Don't need too much wire here on this one. Just got a pair of regular scissors that I'm using. You can obviously use wire clippers if you need to, but I'm just using a pair of trimming scissors that I'm not worried about dulling up. Really get this secured on the shank here, getting it off to the side a little bit. And then once I get to the back, I'm gonna try and get it a little more right on the center of the shank on the top. Grab the back half. Get wire through there. Get a couple wraps in. Loose wraps. And then what I'm doing is pulling. I don't want it too, too tight. So this still, the back half still has room to move. But I don't want it so loose that it's going to completely just easily foul on itself. So I'm giving a little bit of room there. 
trying to keep that wire on the top of the shank so it really allows that that loop in the trailer wire to stay straight up and down so your tail isn't wanting to twist one way or the other and then just securing this wire back in, trying to keep it a little on top of the shank so our, our body doesn't get all wonky. Trim our wire. Get that tip secured down. Right, a uh, little more marabou here just to kind of cover that back half. Just a tiny little tuft again, not much at all. Trim that out. Clean it up a little bit. Same thing, I'm gonna grab a piece of wire here. Probably had more if you go right there. Uh, another piece of rooster. Sorry, cut. Next is dubbing the body again. Again, doesn't have to be super pretty because we are going to be wrapping a feather and wire over the top of this. Just get a nice little dubbing loop here. Or dubbing noodle, sorry. Again, I really like how much, how many different color schemes you can put into this. Your ice dub can be totally different color than your feathers from your marabou. You can put cone head on this different colors as well. Uh, it's just a real versatile pattern for, for being as simple as it is. So got the body dubbed, going to tie in. One of our rooster feathers again. Leaving a little bit of that fuzz there on the end of that feather. It's one thing that Kelly says he really likes to, to do to, to keep a little bit of the volume on the fly. Get that feather real tight in there nice. Gonna do a half hitch here. So we're gonna be using our rotary function again. Sorry, I got my hand in the way of that, didn't I? Super easy pattern to tie once you get all the the steps down. Do the counter wrap with our wire there. Get right behind the cone here. Get our thread back. 
bite down on that wire. Break our wire out. Come on. <coughs> Next to uh, clip out our, our rooster tip here. Let's try and get in there real tight with some nice fine tip scissors. Next, I'm gonna tie in some rubber legs here again up front. Just clipping another two out. Let's get these in right behind the cone here. Notice I still have a little bit of room behind the cone. I don't wanna crowd the cone too, too much because we still have some marabou to tie in here. Get these rubber legs bit down on. Next, another little tuft of marabou back behind the cone here. And again, we're not wanting a whole, whole lot. Really wanting to be particular about the feathers that we pick out. You want those tips to be real nice and clean. Real nice and clean. That's a good little clump right there. Gonna cover about the same amount, a little overlap the tuft from the back marabou. Um, so it keeps that whole line of marabou. On the top of the, the fly. Get my marabou secured in there. Keep those rubber legs out of the way. Crank down on that. Nice thing is, if you don't get a super clean trim, it's okay. Because we're going to ice dub a collar right behind this cone head to really clean this pattern up. And it's perfectly all right if you've got a little bit of fuzz there. It's not a, not a game changer. Last but not least, little collar of ice dub right behind the cone here. This one you do want to be a little tighter with your your noodle on your thread. It's just gonna really clean this fly up. Now that that's done, just give it a little whip finish. Three. One, two, three. Last thing, I'm going to go ahead and trim these rubber legs again. I want to go about to the tail, the start of the tail on the back part of this fly. Otherwise you'd be fouling these rubber legs all over the place. There you are. And there's your finished fly. Peanut Envy is a great little fly. We use it a lot here in Colorado on big rivers, small rivers. Uh, it's a great, great pattern. Super sleek, real easy to cast for the size of the fly. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Thanks for watching.